Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to your boy Gadam Link. How you the day? Welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, the election is coming. I keep saying this to you guys. Election, election, election. They come on Saturday here, yeah, but we are not going to talk about any politics here. No election matter. So let's talk about entertainment. Entertainment and other crazy stuff. I don't know who is breaking O'Malley's heart. O'Malley is a half-beat, hero and b kind of like soul trade singer. So I don't know if it's part of uh, his strategy to con viewers to make it seems like she's is sorry is experiencing some kind of outbreak. Because he has been making some kind of funny move. The other time on Valentine's Day, they decided to buy this rose to Tiwa Savage. I don't know if he had a one night stand with Tiwa Savage and Tiwa Savage is jonesing him. I don't know. I don't know. Or someone, 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 someone broke his heart before. Or Tiwa Savage issue. Now, check out what O'Malley posted. The reason why you lost me. What's the fucking reason why you lost me? Look. What's your reason for losing me? Tell me what's your reason for losing me. Look who you lost to the streets, bitch. See, look. Fresh ass motherfucker. From Marine Bay's Motor Creek. This is who you fucking lost to the street, bitch. Your loss. Your loss. It's your loss, bitch. You lost me to the streets. Look who you lost to the streets. Look, look, look. Look at who you lost to the fucking streets, bitch. Me. The thing is that, like I've said before, he's a horror and B, Afrobeat, soul trade singer. So this might just be one of all those. Uh, it's a uh, plan to try to get fans to view his music. Or, um, or he's just actually playing out his real life experiences on social media or whatsoever so i don't think i don't really know what to make of this guy but i uh, i think he may have chopped some breakfast well i don't regard this as, as a breakfast though after i watched something about uh, a, a motivational speech from someone he said never feel heart breaking don't say it's uh, nobody heart can be broken but your heart can be reshaped your heart can be mold. Your heart can go through experiment experiences. So don't say heartbreak. Heartbreak, you don't ever come out from heartbreak. Your heart cannot break. But your heart can be mold. Your heart, your heart can be reshaping. If someone decides to dump you, it's not heartbreak. It's like remolding your heart, reshaping your heart to another thing. So have that kind of mentality. So Let's talk about uh, David O's baby mama, Sophia Momodu, who posted this video recently. And people were insinu insinuating that Sophia may have done some um, plastic surgery to increase her bump. But honestly, guys, Sophia is one of those ladies that I can vouch for. According to what she said, this type of internal strolling is how women develop body shame. Women need to protect each other more, be kinder to each other. While I've never gotten plastic surgery myself, I respect women who have and I adore women who do it and, and do it well. She said that on her read back here. She never did any plastic surgery. And why are you guys for me and say you do not believe her? I believe her. I believe Sophia never did any surgery. Sophia get hacks right from time. It's just that it has not too big, but very, very moderate. Very, very moderate. And if you want to confirm whatever I'm saying, then go and meet any guy who have knocked Sophia Momodo and ask that question. Or possibly just hit up David Doe and say, David Doe, Alpha, checking out some Momodo uh, bump now. And uh, then, do you think Sophia Momodo do bump? Mm -hmm. Go ask David do if you ask David do. Well, check out this really horrible news. This one is coming from uh, South Africa. 
a woman decided to, of course, comfort, satisfy a, a boyfriend. They said, South African man kills his girlfriend for refusing more sex after four rounds. Zawikili, that's a name, 20, that's the guy's name, 25 years old, is charged with the murder of precious Pinky Yeni. Is alleged to have slit the woman's throat outside her home in December 2021. It is alleged on the night before the murder, the couple had been consuming alcohol together and later in Zeni's family home that they shared with the deceased family, alleged force Yeni to have sex. The couple got into argument when the guy was demanding more sex after they had engaged in four rounds. Four rounds! It is alleged that Yeni's sister promised after hearing the ongoing fight tried to intervene while they were all still inside the house. The state alleged that the guy went outside and harmed himself with an iron a garden rack and once back into in, inside the house, hit Yeni over the head with the rack and she ran out. The guy alleged chased her and went outside, tried to strike her again with the rack. But she blocked the blow with her arm and ran. It was alleged that the guy then harmed himself with a knife, chased after her, and when he caught up with her, he stabbed her in the neck from behind and then slit her throat. <laughs> it's one of the most horrible stories I've had in a long time. After four rounds of sex, what else do you need again now? That means the guy was actually going for the kill and uh, he needed the full rot of the law. South African law do not allow death penalty. So the highest they can give him is life imprisonment. So that's it. Well, check out this video. A lady recently called out her father who came to her house to eat. To eat all. She said, the face of the man that abandoned me when I was young, no school paid, no, no schools paid, those schools paid by him all my life now is eating my meal do you think he deserve it then people actually blasted her for bringing this to social media they said how can you bring this to social media because your father came to your house to eat and you decided to you decided to bring your social media let everybody know that your dad never really took care of you you know sometimes uh, if you do not understand the pain of people eh? You could just act as if you understand. Maybe because you have a very, very lovely family, a loving father who took care of you. This is a woman who is trying to bring it out there. This man comes to my house to eat my food. When he knows very well, he never really paid for anything. There are, there are parents like that who are not apologetic. They never paid for a dime on your head. But they keep holding back. Uh, they keep holding on to that word that respect your parents no matter what. They keep blackmailing children. They use that word that uh, your 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 safe heaven is below your 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 parents' foot. Like there are a lot of people who, who use that a lot. What if you are ir 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 irresponsible parents? You never provided. You never provided for me. You never took up your responsibility. Does that mean that I should owe you any form of responsibility for bringing me to this world? Do I owe you anything? People blasted her, but I actually support the woman though. I, I, I thought she allowed the father to ever eat the food, which is really nice, you know? Ah. So, to end this video, guys, sorry it's not that long. Here is a pastor who recently advised women that as a woman, you shouldn't refer to your husband as baby that you should refer to your husband as my lord the bible says sarah called her husband my lord we live in a generation where i hear women call their husbands or their boyfriends uh uh baby honey pumpkin 
my love, my heartbeat. All those things are not scriptural. They are demonic. Let me tell you something. When you call your husband baby, no wonder we have so many babies, not matured men. He behaves like a baby. He doesn't take responsibility because your prophecy is from your mouth. But when you call your husband or your man, my Lord, Lord means responsibility. Lord means, you know, I take responsibility of this environment. I provide. The woman needs to be cared for. But all these baby, honey, sweetheart, those are the demonic words that make a lot of men to misbehave. I advise every woman here, call your man, my Lord, as the scripture says, and seek. Well, everyone with their own advices. So if you want to take it, good and fine. And if you don't want to take it, good and fine also. So thank guys for watching. It's a boy again. I'm Slink. Have a wonderful day. Thank